The story of Roberto Clemente is well documented and is one of the most tragic in the history of Major League Baseball. One of the greatest hitters of all time and an icon in his native Puerto Rico, Clemente's life was tragically cut short on New Year's Eve in 1972 when he was 38 years old and trying to help the people of Nicaragua after a devastating earthquake. Clemente would never reach Nicaragua, as his plane would go down shortly after takeoff, but he was able to inadvertently help someone on that fateful New Year's Eve. With the plane already overloaded, Clemente encouraged his teammates, who wanted to come along and offer their help, to stay behind behind and celebrate the holiday while Clemente went on the trip alone. One of those teammates was Tom Walker, a 24-year-old pitcher coming off his rookie season with the Montreal Expos. By telling Walker to stay behind, Clemente not only saved the life of one major leaguer, but another as well. Walker's son, Neil, was born over a decade after that fateful night and would be drafted and star for Clemente's Pirates for seven seasons. This is how those two pirates share a special but tragic bond. Roberto Clemente had just finished up his 18th season in the Major Leagues and collected his 3,000 and eventual final hit on the last day of the 1972 season. Shortly after the season wrapped up, Clemente traveled to Managa, Nicaragua to help coach the Puerto Rican national team as they competed in the Baseball World Cup. Just three short weeks after Clemente had left Nicaragua, the country was struck by a massive earthquake that devastated the country, and immediately Clemente knew he had to help out. Throughout most of his off-seasons, Clemente already devoted his time towards community service and helping out others. His philanthropic efforts eventually led to an award in his name given out yearly to the Major League Baseball player who best demonstrates commitment to community and understanding the value of helping others, and is turned into one of the most respected awards given out each year. After hearing about the earthquake in Nicaragua, Clemente began gathering supplies to be sent over to help out. While aid was coming in from all around the globe, Clemente himself wanted to make an impact and personally funded and sent three cargo planes full of supplies to the ravaged country. Soon after the third cargo plane arrived in Nicaragua, Clemente received word that all three of his planes had been intercepted and seized by corrupt government officials and they never actually made it to the citizens of the country. Clearly upset, Clemente organized for a fourth plane full of supplies to be sent over and this time he would personally escort it himself. He was popular all over Latin and Southern America and was hoping that his presence would ensure that the shipment would make its way to the people that needed it. So Clemente Clemente loaded up a plane with some of his winter ball teammates in Puerto Rico, one of them being a young right-handed pitcher named Tom Walker. Walker had just finished up a pretty solid rookie season in 1972 with the Expos and was poised to be one of the premier relief pitchers in that Montreal bullpen. After Clemente and Walker had finished loading up the plane, they'd realized that there was little to no room for passengers and Clemente opted to go alone, urging Walker and the others to stay back and celebrate the new year. I just told Roberto that uh, I'd be glad to help him any way I could. I had asked Roberto, I'd, I'd like to go along and help you unload the plane and come back. And that's when he said, no, you need to go and party. It's New Year's Eve. Less than an hour after leaving the airport, Walker and his teammates would return to their condos and receive news that the plane they were supposed to be on with Clemente had crashed, and all five on board had perished. The plane was extremely overloaded with supplies and wasn't in the air long before the weight brought it into the ocean. Clemente was just 38 years old. Walker was grateful that he was alive, but also heartbroken that his friend and teammate in Clemente was now gone. He was one of the last people to see Clemente alive, and it's an image that still haunts him to this day. Remembering the day itself, helping load the plane, and I can still see it in my mind. I, uh, I've never been able to erase it. I still have an image of Roberto That's, that is stuck with me, alive. And I, I, I'm grateful for that, but I'm, I'm deeply saddened that uh, I was there. It was probably one of the last people to see him alive. Walker would go on to have a decent career, tossing 414 innings across six seasons to the tune of a 3.87 ERA for the Expos, Angels, Cardinals, and Tigers. Despite a respectable ERA, he would finish with a losing record at 18-23, and, and was a tick under league average, posting a 99 ERA+. Plus. But Walker's journey wouldn't stop there. After retiring from professional baseball in 1978, he would get married and start a family, becoming a father for the first time in 1985 when his son Neil was born. Neil would follow in his father's footsteps and be a standout athlete and eventual Major League Baseball player himself. He was born and raised in Pittsburgh and was selected by his hometown Pirates in the first round of the 2004 Major League Baseball draft. Neil would grind it out in the minors for five years before finally making his Major League debut for the Pirates in 2009, just days before his 24th birthday the same age his father was when he played alongside the best player in Pirates franchise history. Without Clemente urging Tom Walker to stand back and not board that plane, Neil would have never been born. Tom would have also been killed and Neil literally owes his life to Clemente for urging his father to stay back and celebrate the 1973 New Year. There literally would
was would have, would have been no me. No, I have two brothers and a sister, and my my mom. They weren't together at the time, so I uh, I literally owe Roberto Clemente my life. Not only does Neil owe Clemente his life, but they also share a very special moment on Roberto Clemente Day in Pittsburgh that involved the number that Clemente made famous, 21. On Roberto Clemente Day in 2014, I hit my 21st home run over the 21 foot, just over the 21 foot fourth wall in right field. And I'm around the bases and I'm like getting goosebumps and I'm thinking like, oh, this is really strange. Roberto Clemente will always be remembered for not only his superb play on the field, but also for his selfless and philanthropic efforts off the field. He was a great ball player, but an even better man and he gave his life trying to support other people. Not only was he a humanitarian, but he also saved the lives of Tom Walker, his son Neil, and his winter ball teammates on that fateful New Year's Eve in 1972. Now, Neil shares a very special connection with one of the most important people to ever play Major League Baseball, a man who inadvertently saved not only his father's life, but his as well.